to the channel. Today's video is um, on how I wash my truck. don't use any soap and because I have a bed liner truck uh, it can be difficult but what I do is I soak the truck down first with water um, and I spray the wheel cleaner wheel and tire cleaner down first then I rinse the whole car off then I come back typically and wash the uh, wheel cleaner off all the wheels and tires and then I go and power wash the truck once the water has kind of soaked into the truck and all the bugs and stuff like that have come off so here you go this is the end product here um, it wasn't too dirty uh, when I washed it but it was a little Bit. and these are the new rim and tires they're 22 by 14s um, with 33 1250 tires on them a little small for my taste uh, but I picked up the whole set for 800 bucks with pretty much brand new tires on them kind of hard not to beat a deal like that so my old rims I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, and eventually I'll be getting some 35 uh, 1550 uh, 22s for the tire setup on this. And you can see there is a stretch um, since this is a 1250 tire on a 14 wide rim, there's a lot of stretch here. So once I get the 1550s that'll bring this whole tread you know out to a little past the rim actually um, and we'll give this a much more beefier setup and it'll be a little taller as well being a 35 versus a 33 so eventually that will be coming but with the tires being as new as they are now 
I'll probably ride them for a little bit before I do anything. Um, but we got everything cleaned up pretty good. Um, got the air tank all clean, the traction bars, and everything is looking good. Now, it did uh, start raining a little bit after I started washing the truck, uh, but I think it's past now. Um, so, no big deal there, but um, now what I'm gonna do is typically I take uh, like a leaf blower or I have my little Milwaukee handheld blower. That is really the only reason I bought that leaf blower, to be honest. Um, but I've used it for other stuff. But I really bought it just for the truck when I wash it and the vehicles that I own when I wash them. So that will pretty much wrap up this video on how I wash a truck with bed liner. Super easy. It is very important that you let the water soak on the truck before you try to power wash it all off. Make sure you get it soaked and let it sit for a little bit um, and then go ahead and shoot it with the um, you know, power washer and get it off. Power washing is also going to be the most effective. I tried it by hand once with just a hose and it didn't go very good. So you are gonna want a power washer if you are doing a line x or Rhino lined uh, truck. Hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe. <whistles> Hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe. I'm out.